Hello and welcome back to the building site where we are going to continue the project that we started what feels like just yesterday but was actually a few weeks ago. And the plan for today is to remove this lovely tabeek wall that you see behind me. And in order to do that first we're going to do a bit of investigation so that we can work out the best order of operations. But hopefully pretty soon this wall will be no more. Uh, since we were here with you last we have done some things if I come around here, you can see that this room that was full of junk and tools has now been emptied. So we are almost ready to remove a wall and then take up this floor and lay down some more OSB. We're going to see how far we get. We're not going to put any pressure on ourselves because we are still very tired. And there are good reasons for that, maybe which we will talk about later. That's the plan and we're going to get to it. So this to big wall has another wall on top of it. I don't think it's a strong wall like this. It just looks like wood panelling. Yeah. I want to have a look at it. I want to have a look at this wall plate and see what's going on with that before we start taking out this wall. So that's the first step. Get up in the loft and see what's going on. Very sophisticated loft. So, welcome to the loft. You look thoughtful. Well, these are attached to our roof, whatever they're called, those things, rafters. A couple of nails, one nail each. Okay, maybe it won't be so bad to get them out. So, this small wall to your left and this slightly larger wall to your right are not structural even though they are attached to the structure of the roof. Correct. They're attached to like the side of the rafters, not underneath them, supporting yeah. them in any way, shape or form. There is a diagonal here that definitely is part of the roof structure. Yes, yeah, so though we will be leaving that one. <laughs> we, we most definitely will be. I need to take up some floorboards here to see what they're sitting on. Yeah. And where that ends. Okay. And definitely should not stand on those <laughs> like we did before. For that, but that's just for the ceiling, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, they are cemented into the wall, surprisingly. So we're going to do a little bit more investigation and come up with a plan. But in the meantime, why don't you check out the rest of this roof space? Because it's pretty cool. You have something to say? I do have something to say. First thing is, this roof is watertight. I know it doesn't look it, but it is. Um, we will eventually be taking all the tiles off, checking the structure, um, and then we'll put a liner on, we'll put a membrane on, we'll put a, a gap, some insulation, and then the tiles again. We are trying to find someone who can do it for us. Yeah, in worst case, we'll be doing it ourselves. With some help. With some help, yes. I'm not taking this on. By myself. <laughs> cool, okay, let's make a plan. I have the things you requested. Kneel first, because it's like an actual kneel. I might have to come up one step. Okay, our investigation is complete and we've got a plan. What's the plan? The plan is to leave the wall upstairs, uh, mostly because it's attached to the roof structure and it would actually be better to remove those once this ceiling is removed so we can put scaffolding in here and be supported and be safe. So we are just going to take down this to be cool. We're going to put some props in place not that I think it needs it, because it's not a structural wall, um, but just for peace of mind. And we can just crack on with 
getting the wall out, getting the floor up, and getting a new subfloor down. So step one is to remove all these laths. And that's pretty useful because we've still got some more lath and plaster walls to build downstairs, or we've got one to finish off. So if we can save some of these, we'll be able to reuse them downstairs. So I think it's time for a bit of time lapse. Keep some of that as reference material. Yeah. But I did take some photos as well. Yeah, that's it. What happened? It's just blood damage. Oh, yeah. yeah, there's quite a lot of it up here as well. Thank <laughs> you. 
Still no look. Well, it was attached to this massive wedge uh, in the side of the wall here. I feel like it felt like it was attached to the side. Yeah. So you know, this is now coming out. <laughs> very much coming out. I don't even know why it was there in the first place. It may be what they attached the old double doors to. Um, yeah, nice one. Work. Well, this space is opening up nicely. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. There's not much of that left. Let's see. So I'm going for the for this. Yeah, top first. Top first. Okay. Huh? Go for it. Okay, it's good. Yeah, you got it. Do you want me to give it a tap at the bottom? No, you got it. I don't know where that place is to go to. Yeah, that's true. Nice. There we go. Can we just leave it up against the wall and we can take them all later? Okay. Oh, 
กเลิกฮัลโหลโอเวอร์เดอร์ฮัลโหลยูทุกที่นี่ไม่ใหญ่ยูอยู่ฝ่าอื่นเอ่อเป็นแค่ลองแง่ลองแง่จริงๆมันเป็นแค่ระยะสั้นทำให้ฝ่าอื่นเสียไปที่ดีที่สุดก็ดี Not that bad, but quite dusty. We have mixed thoughts on the result, although it's all very new, so I'm sure we'll get used to it. So let me just show you how big the room is, so you can get some context here. So I'm this, and I can actually do this. Oh wow! Yeah, and so is it's it not. is it not true that your arm span is the same as your height, approximately? And so you're like three foot two. Yeah, exactly. So it's a tiny room. <laughs> I think it's. Let me measure. <laughs> That is much more conventional, isn't it? Let me hold it here for you. There you go. Two point five meters. That's not big. That is not big. That's what she said. Not too sure on the space, but would really like to rip the ceilings down <laughs> so that we can feel the. The height, but that is not on the critical path for heat pump, and we are just concentrating on project heat pump because we now have a date for installation, and we have a lot of things to do, so the ceilings will have to wait. Yeah, I think the reason that the space feels a bit odd is because it is new and we haven't really spent much time getting used to it yet, but also because it's going to be kind of an entrance hall. Kind of a staircase up and down to all the floors, and kind of an upstairs lounge with a wood-burning stove and a big flue that goes all the way up through the roof. So it's a bit mixed use, and we're not yet sure how we're going to use it, or what kind of furniture we'll put in here, or how we'll arrange the space, or anything like that. Of course, we have plenty of time to work all that stuff out because we won't be doing any of that for about five years. <laughs> But it's quite satisfying to. Uh, Do something in an afternoon and feel like you've made lots of progress. However, that is about all the progress we are going to make this week and in this video, because we have an update on the kitten situation. So we had, we were given four kittens and asked if we could look after them, and then those same neighbors came back and said, "There's another five. Can you look after them too? Because we can't look after them." There is a mummy cat associated with those five who might have also been looking after the first four. There, there's like there's another cat also that has kittens, but she's like wild. So we are now looking after nine kittens. We are trying to catch mummy stray kittens so we can take her and keep her indoors and then get her sterilized. We also got to take all nine kittens to the vet to get dewormed and. Just generally check to make sure they have no disease and Any things. Any vaccinations, maybe. Yeah, and to get there's a couple of gender issues there. I'm not too sure on the gender because there's a couple that are quite small. So we're very busy with kittening, um, and because of that, this week we're not going to get a lot done because there's vets and kittens and catching stray mummies. So yeah, this is what you get for this week, and next week, you know, there'll be more fun and games, and hopefully, we will have a better kitten routine down pat. They take a lot of work. Oh my god! And, and they stink. They stink, and we have two little munches. They climb into their bowl, and the food goes everywhere. <laughs> so yeah, it's, there's a lot of drama going on, and we live in a building site, so. So we have nine kittens, but they are all well. They are all safe. They are all eating a lot. We even got them their own little tent, which is kind of cool. So we live in a tent, and the kittens live in a tent, and it's a wonderful little play space for them. And as I'm sure you can see, they're all having a great time. But we're going to wrap this up for now, and we're going to go off and do our kitten duties. Thank you for watching. We will see you in the next one, where something else exciting will happen. But hopefully, there's no more extra kittens. Please, no. So we'll see you next time. Bye for now. Bye bye.